Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Hinterland. Wonderful Hinterland. Happy, what is today? Friday. Holy cow. End of the week. Love end of the week. Oh, looking forward to Friday. Looking forward to this weekend. It has been hot here. I don't know about where you all live, but I guess we have some record temperatures going on for May. Somebody told me today it is the hottest May since like the 1930s, 40s, something like that. I don't know, but we've hit 90 on a regular basis. And for this area in May, that's great. You know, looking forward to summer. Holy cow. Anyways, got some interesting news here on the farm that I want to share. Had a little mod conflict issue. And I it took me a while to figure this out. In fact, I ultimately, I really can't take the, uh, the credit for it because it was Reddit where I stumbled across, at least got me in the right direction. Our upgradable factories mod, the one that we spent time and effort on upgrading our open air gardens and things. Yeah, lucky us, it wrecks the fish farming. Um, fish farming stops working when using that mod. And it's just one of those things, you know, like I said, you could have a perfectly fine mod. I'm sure, you know, in fact, oddly enough, the log for hinterland, and I usually pay pretty close attention to this is clean. It's, it is spick and span, even with all the factories and mods and things I got running, that log is clean and you can still have issues and indeed we did. So I was looking at our fish farming and trying to figure out why in the world it wouldn't produce fish. Because it wasn't, it was just refusing to. In fact, I finally noticed that there was a red little thing up there that said, I think it said something about it being full and clearly that wasn't the case because there was nothing full about it. I thought it was the placement of the mod. I thought, uh, I thought maybe it needed empty pallets because I knew there was a fish farming mod that needed empty pallets, which is this one actually. But I found out that the mod author not too long ago updated this mod, got rid of the empty pallets requirement. And in fact, even adjusted some of the output um, cycles maybe our, our uh, cost. I don't know. There were some other adjustments made, but like I said, the error log completely clean. I mean, there weren't even warnings and sometimes warnings can just be ignored in the game log, but I didn't even have warnings. So I did a little Google foo. Somebody mentioned, uh, several months back that they were having a similar issue with a different, uh, production facility and the same problem though and somebody else commented and said hey um, it took me forever to find out but I finally um, removed the upgradable factories mod and the problem went away so I did that and the problem went away so I kind of have to make a choice you know do we keep our fish and in fact all, along with our mineral feed production or do we keep our upgradable factories well I got rid of the upgradable factories sadly as much as I like that mod and will use it in the future, it's just not going to play nice with our fishies. So we're going to keep the fish and the mineral feed. I gave us back our money for all of the upgradable gardens that we spent on. We spent about 35,000 bucks upgrading our open air gardens, but they're back to normal. Yeah, that one, that one took a while because I had nowhere... I, I had nowhere to go with it. I couldn't figure it out. I didn't remember. You know, sometimes you remember a specific time when things stopped working. You know that, hey, I added this mod and this stopped working, right? But I couldn't remember. I couldn't remember what, if the fish ever did work, to be honest with you. But anyways, that all being said, we are back to normal productions. There is that other production, which is the one with... The uh, uh, production upgrades mod, I think it's called, that'll, for free, upgrade your factories or speed up your factories. I'm not going to bother with that one either. I feel like that is just, I don't know, it feels a little too cheaty for, for my game style. 
So we're just going to stick with what we have. And if we need more open air gardens, I'll put down a hundred more <laughs> open air gardens. <laughs> I think Tin Man called me the open air garden king or something like that. And maybe that's what I'm becoming. I love these open air gardens. They're brilliant. And I mean, I just got to give them water. Maybe some of them I, I give them seeds and fertilizer, but otherwise, water. Oh, I was going to ask you all this. I think I'll have to do a little looking, but I'm looking for a mod maybe for us. This slurry that we're getting from our cows, we're starting to get quite a bit of slurry in our little deal here. And we're going to continue to get a lot of slurry as this cow pen matures. What should we do with that slurry? I know that we kind of discussed maybe pumps and hoses, but I'm thinking maybe a little more direct money making options. So if you know of any production facilities that take advantage of slurry that aren't too cheaty, I think I had one before that turned slurry and maybe a grain crop into into seeds or something but it was so oh it was just so op that it didn't it didn't feel right it was like producing seeds so fast you could become a millionaire in two days with the seeds it produced it seemed like so i don't know if you have any ideas on what to do with the slurry other than spread it i mean i guess we can do that if we want but i was almost thinking too if we can dry slurry if there's a mod out there that lets you dry the slurry to kind of turn it into manure. We can use it in our open air gardens. Our open air gardens don't take man uh, slurry, but they do take manure. So maybe that's something we can consider doing with it too. But even then, I don't know if we, we probably have too much slurry for that. Anyways, I'm doing a lot of yapping. We're getting this field cultivated. Then we need to get it fertilized. I asked Heinrich to get us a mower and baler so we can do some work and get some grass bales made because I want to stay on top of our silage. And I actually kind of like the way we've been doing it with just getting grass bales, storing grass bales, and then making silage when we need it from the grass bales using our Anderson wrapper. I think that's been working good and it seems like it makes bail, bailing go faster because you're not bailing then wrapping and, and so on. Let's go see Heinrich though. I have a feeling he's set us up with something. Uh, we can just, we can just go over this way I guess. We'll zoom over. Hey buddy, Hi. you take care of us? Yeah, yeah, you did. You little stinker. Nice. Very nice. So this is what we're going to be using for getting our grass bales up to snuff. We've got the Crone Big M. I think this is the 550, the big, big one. Yeah, this is the big dog. And probably my favorite baler in the game, the big pack. This thing rocks with a silage additive. Yeah, I've loved this baler since it came out. Man, uh, what, FS15, there was a mod contest, I think, and this thing was introduced. I think it won the mod contest. You used to be able to open up the sides of it and you used to be able to take bale wrap and stuff and I think actually load bale wrap onto it. It was pretty slick. But anyways, let's... Uh, Let's hop in here. Let me turn my headset down a little bit. I'm feeling like I got... I'm screaming at myself. Yeah, these are nice. I, I, I kid you not, I would... Ooh, Turbo 2. Well, all right then. This... I, could, I would do this job. If this was my job, full-time, running this thing and mowing grass, I... Oh, boy. I feel like I would be super happy about that. The smell of fresh cut grass running an exceptionally large mowing machine. Oh, wow. All right, let's hook up. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry about that. There we go, we gotcha. Let's go find a field. Shouldn't be too hard. 
We do want to make sure wherever we mow that we own. I want to stay out of trouble like I did that one time where I mowed a bunch of stuff and then couldn't pick up the grass because we didn't own the property. It's kind of funny. It lets you mow, but then you go to pick up the grass and it's like, you don't own this land. What were you thinking? So there's our fish farm. We should start seeing some fish at this point now that uh, that conflict is resolved. I forget too if you actually see fish. Oh wait, there are fish there. There's a crate right there. Nice. I don't think there are fish in the water though. No, no fishies in the water. However, there's our first first pallet of fish. Frozen, in fact, it looks like, huh? Yeah, you used to take empty pallets and bring them over here. And drop them off here. But I guess the mod author put the kibosh on that, so... When is, uh... When is a good time? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be flying at 30... Ah! Uh, thousand feet today ah. when is a good time to sell fish if I can find French fish French fries French fish too maybe I don't know where are fish why do I always always go past things uh, flower straw grass did I pass it again I bet I did you all are yelling at me right now going Brad it's it's right there. You've gone past it twice now. Are you blind? Well, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe I am. Sometimes I feel like I am, no doubt. Oh, goodness. Do I see fish? Or, oh, here we go. Fishies. Fishes. There we go. So May's not too bad. January's looking pretty good. What, where are we at? August? All right, so we'll probably wait a few months to sell those. We could actually change this to selling, but I kind of want to get a little bit of a feel. Oh, look at that setup right there. Isn't that nice? Tell me you wouldn't want to operate this thing every day. That'd be sweet. So I guess we can wait a bit to sell our fish. Don't hit the uh, mailbox. I think we can make pretty good do of this land right over here. It's pretty roly-poly, so we'll see how it goes. But this should give us a lot of grass if we want. Let's check on our cultivator, which indeed is done. We'll get the old John Deere out of the way. And we can uh, fire up this thing. To be honest with you, we would probably be better off just doing this ourselves because of the possibility of these booms hitting trees and stuff. But I'm driving, so yeah, there's that. Let's set up a quick course play course. Create a job, of course. I think we should do one headland. Um, you know what? Smooth, smooth is fine. I'm okay with that. Up and down. Generate course. Wow, that should not take long to do. There's the start right there. Have I mentioned that I like this Amazon sprayer? I very much do. But I'm also looking forward to trying out... Um, there's a John Deere one that I like. And there's a case, that case sprayer that looks amazing that came out a while ago in the mod hub first waypoint did I turn off buying off 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 okay good first waypoint you go I'll try and keep an eye on you a little bit all right let's get this thing set up unfold the baler Unfold the crone, big M. Look at those wings. That is so amazing. 
I don't know who I need to thank, but whoever it is that keeps this Big M 500. Oh, my game Steam. Look at you. We've used several of my game Steam mods. Outstanding. Textures look good, too. It looks like it's been brought over pretty decently as well because I know this thing's been around a few a few versions of the game all right let's check for swathing we don't want wide spreading that's for sure that would eliminate our point of having a baler here tin man are you proud that I'm actually hooking a baler onto the back of a mower I know this would make you happy buddy um I have the baler selected we need to lower Fire up the baler. And let's fire up the big M. And let's get started, shall we? Let's see how this thing does. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? That's a shame. I forgot to put the silage additive in there. And we've got silage additive. But I completely forgot to add it. So maybe what we'll do... <laughs> I do have kind of an idea on that one. Um, let's do this. You, uh, you keep running <laughs> there for a second. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's go back to the store. Here's the silage additive. Probably would probably be easier for me to drive the thing back but um oh of course it's not gonna run with me you're gonna run with me there you go now you're running oh boy that's getting nasty all right now we're making it we probably really don't even need We really probably don't even need to use it, if I'm being honest, but... Eh, we've got some, so we might as well. It do, It is supposed to add... I don't know, what, 20-25%? At least it does to forage wagons. I'm gonna assume it's similar with the bales. Alright, let's do this. Looks like it's doing a good job picking up the grass that's being mowed. Uh, I need to turn off real mower mod. I guess I don't need to, but I'm going to. My intentions, honestly, I guess we could, I guess we could leave it on. It'll just mow down bushes that will never come back which I guess isn't that big of a deal but I did um, a while ago uh, I don't know I don't think I ever talked about this but I was doing some mowing and I don't know what I did or was testing or what but if you mow over the grass pathways in the game they don't come back normally if that makes sense so if we were to mow over this grass path up here this two track that we call them here where i live they'll grow they grow back but they grow back as metal grass just solid metal grass so basically you eliminate the path and I think that happens regardless of whether you've got the real mower mod on or not. In fact, they they look very much like the way the path looks, the way the regular uh, gravel or dirt paths look. And then in a couple days, the grass grows back, but there's no more there's no more of the this grass texture stuff going on so your paths basically just disappear 
Which I guess isn't that big of a deal. You can create your own new paths, but... Just a little tidbit for thought there. Now, I have no idea how many bales this is this area is going to produce. I don't even know how many bales we really need. I was thinking even if we got like 30 bales. Oh, you know the other thing I didn't do? I guess it, I should change. Well, I'm going to leave it now. I didn't um, change the baler to the biggest large to the to the largest square bales. Oh, well. It would just cut down on our quantities a little bit, which is kind of nice. You pick up less bales, but. So this is my kind of mowing. Leasing this stuff, by the way, was not cheap. In fact, I gave us back $35,000 we spent about $35,000 on the open air gardens upgrades. So I put that back into our account since we're not going to be using those. Brad, just try to not to miss too much grass here. I realize it's hard to do, but come on. Um, so I put back thirty five grand into our account, <clears throat> but... Leasing this mower and this baler cost us about thirty about thirty grand. Was not cheap. The big M was like twenty five grand to lease on its own. It's an expensive machine, so we're gonna take advantage of it while we've got it leased. Try to get as many as many bales as we can out of it. I do notice, it seems like, oh yeah, see it left that bush behind. Yeah, if we had the real mower mod on, that bush would be gone though. We're definitely making the summer rentals happy. Oh, it's 10 o'clock. They should be out of bed by now. Anyways, Heinrich is supposed to tell people when they get off the boat and they're coming here for a vacation, Heinrich is supposed to say, folks, this is a working farm. Don't let your kids go running in the field willy-nilly. Uh... You're going to hear tractor noise. He's supposed to give them all the details when they arrive, but sometimes Heinrich is um, not feeling so well in the mornings from his evening of beverage partaking, and I think he forgets to, uh, to tell the tourists. We should probably check... We should probably check on our sprayer. Did you do a legit job? It looks like you did. Nice. Didn't get hung up in the trees or anything? I am so proud of you. Very nice. All right. Wow. Seems like I'm always going the long way. Oh, I like that cascade of grass coming out of there. That's nice. But this is the way to go. This is this is the life right here. Just chilling out. Smell that fresh cut grass. Got some tunes playing on the radio. Probably some air conditioning if it's hot out. And you're just chilling, mowing grass. I like it. I've never seen one of these mowers in real life. I've seen them on YouTube. I love watching them on YouTube because it's pretty satisfying to watch them go into town, but I'd like to see one in real life. 
I'd like, I'd lo I would love to be able to operate one in real life. That would be amazing. In fact, I think... I don't know if any of you are Seinfeld fans, but... <clears throat> Kramer, I think it was like season one, early on in the, in the show, Kramer was bragging about his idea for making having a restaurant where you make your own pizza. So people would come in, you know, they'd make their dough, get their toppings, you know, throw it into an oven, make their own pizza, right? And of course, you know, Jerry would be teasing him about how that is, or maybe even George did, about how ridiculous the idea is because of people, having people and kids around, you know, 500, 600 degree ovens and how dangerous and how much insurance you need to cover yourself. And the only reason I bring that up is because I've always thought it would be a cool idea to have a working farm where people can go and operate some of this large machinery. Like, I would pay for a week on a farm like this to be able to operate big machinery. Not... not do, not do the chores. I don't want to get up at 6 a.m. and do all the, uh, the hard work. I would want the easy work, you know. Get me up around 9. Nice hearty breakfast. <laughs> around 10 o'clock. Go out, hop into a... Maybe even something like this. And, and work for the day, you know. Take, a, take an hour, hour and a half lunch. You know, come back, maybe put in three or four more hours driving huge machinery. Or if you want to do more, you know, you do more. But I can't even imagine the the liability insurance that would be required <laughs> to, bring, to bring people onto your farm to do that. Oh boy. They'd see me coming a mile away and shut the place down for the week. Sorry, sir, no vacancies. We're booked up this week. Sorry, I know you were told that you could that you could come and and then run the machinery, but unfortunately we had scheduling errors and we don't have a spot for you. If they were smart, that's exactly how they would deal with that. How many bales do we have? This is actually kind of, I think that may be enough. That may be plenty actually. That added up quick, I think. Let's shut this thing off for a minute. And let's stop the baler. We can eject what's in there I was thinking we shouldn't have got that many bales but that silage additive I think that silage additive helped us out a little bit one two what is it like roughly one two three four five six seven eight nine in fact do we have a bale counter uh, duh 30 yeah that's about how many I wanted to nab that's expensive bales though 30 bales and we paid about 30 grand for leasing so it's about a thousand dollars a bale. You know what? I don't know if I want to look, but just for fun, let's just say, uh, we'll say with leasing costs, right? It was thirty grand roughly, and we got thirty bales. So a thousand dollars a bale. So if we went in and we had Heinrich just buy us grass bales, two twenty, which is what we're making. Okay, so we. Maybe we could say we did save some money doing it this way instead of buying the bales outright. It looks like average cost on the grass or hay bales is a little bit more there. So yeah, maybe we did okay. It'll be interesting to see on the cotton though. I know leasing cotton equipment is not cheap either, but $8,000 for a, um, a cotton bale is how big is that? 10,000 liters. 
Yeah, we'll see how that works out if I remember. So I think that's going to do it, actually, for this episode of Hinterland. I'm going to let you all go. I'm going to collect our grass bales and get them put away into our shed. And uh, onward and upward. So hope you enjoyed the episode. Leave a like if you did. Appreciate it. And, of course, always, if you want to subscribe, definitely feel free to subscribe to this to the channel. I'll probably see you all this weekend with something. And um, until then, though, take care of yourselves. Stay safe. And I'll see you soon. Bye for now.